Hello and welcome to African Leadership Academy Model African Union. This video is designed to help delegates prepare for our conference and introduce them to certain aspects of this conference. We hope that you find this video useful. The Model African Union is a model conference that's supposed to simulate the African Union. Your role as a delegate is to come to the conference representing an ambassador from a country. Your personal interests fly out of the window and you become an ambassador for your country. You may be confused as to how to start this process, which is usually the most difficult part. Well, there are three steps to remember. One is to know everything you need to know about the African Leadership Academy, Model African Union, and the African Union. Two is everything you need to know about your country. And lastly is everything you need to know about the topic. So for the first step, I recommend you visit www.alamau.org. That is our website. And that will give you a sense of exactly what things to prepare yourself for in our conference, because you know more about our conference. Secondly, is to go to the AU website. This gives you information about the African Union and what the African Union has done so far. Now for the second step, you have to know about your country. There are various sites to get information about your country, but the easiest site to get quick facts about your country is CIA Factbook. That gives you quick facts about your country. But I suggest you go more in depth to what your country really has done over the past few years. Now lastly, to know about the topics, you'll get study guides. The study guides would help, but you also have to do more independent personal research to know how the topics tie in with your country. And of course, it is the African Union, but Africa does not always have the most up-to-date information. So I suggest you visit um, sites like the ILO website, the UN website, and the World Bank. Those will give you more clear information about your topic and your, in relation to your country. So remember to know the three things. One is to know everything you need to know about the ALA MAU and everything you need to know about the African Union itself. Two is everything you need to know about your country. And lastly is everything you need to know about your topic in relation to your country. Once you get these three things, I'm sure you'll be good in the conference. Now for the position papers. Position papers are generally what they seem to be. They're a position, a paper that explains the position of the country you're presenting. There are generally four elements to a very good position paper. One, the topic summary and outline. This generally outlines the main idea that you're going to talk about in your position paper. Secondly, is the specific position of your, whatever country you're representing in your position paper. Now this is where your research comes in, because you have to explain all the positions that your country has on that particular topic, as well as the proposed solution it has and hopes to get from the conference. Third comes the counter-arguments. This is where you talk about the positions of other countries that are different from your countries, as well as the possible diverse views that other countries may have on that different topic. Lastly comes the conclusion. Now the conclusion is where you wrap up all the ideas as well as the possible solutions that can come out of the conference and possibly introduce the resolution. We have two caucuses, moderated caucus and unmoderated caucus. Once you have an understanding of what issues are important to other delegates, you can begin to ask for more specific information for the topics by motioning for a caucus. A motion for a caucus must specify the cause for the caucus, if the caucus will be moderated or unmoderated, and the length of time in minutes. In case of a crisis, delegates can motion for a caucus to discuss the new topic. I hereby move a motion for a 15-minute moderated caucus to discuss solutions to piracy in Africa with one-minute speaker's time. A moderated caucus is formal debate over a specific matter to be moderated by the chair. The chair will call on delegates to take the floor and speak. The chair can also ask the delegates if they are open to any points of information. Once the delegate who has the floor specifies how many points of information he or she is open to or if there is any, the chair selects a delegate who is willing to ask for of information. The delegate of the Republic of Mozambique would hereby like to move a motion for a 20-minute unmoderated caucus in order for the rest of the delegates to hereby discuss ways in which to fight terrorism. Now let me tell you about unmoderated caucuses. There are temporary sessions from formal debate in which delegates can be able to can interact with one another and start forming working relationships and allies with other delegates. They are an excellent opportunity for you to start lobbying for resolutions or to begin working on new working papers. 
Additionally, there can be an excellent opportunity for you to get enough signatories to get your working paper recognised by the chair of the committee. During the conference, you will have working papers. Working papers are basically sheets of papers on which you scribe the ideas that you have on any resolution that you may want to see. And after several working papers, you end up having um, a draft for a resolution paper. A resolution paper is basically um, offering a solution for whatever topic that you're discussing. It's, it should be able to actually satisfy all, almost all the delegates and, and officially the conflicts or arguments that you may have um, over the topic that you are discussing. Um, writing a resolution paper is not that easy and I would advise you to actually visit um, this website. So it's www.unausa.org and also make sure you follow the instructions on um, how to write um, a resolution paper and I'm sure you'll be just fine if you use um, your working papers. Operative clauses are all the wonderful words you need to use before almost all the phrases. And remember, that's a phrase, not a sentence. A resolution is a long sentence. And all of these have to be underlined when you write your resolution down. Moving to the preambulatory clauses. The purpose of the preambular clause is to support the historical background of the issue you are writing as well as to justify the action. And remember, you should underline them. Seeing that this is a Model African Union conference, we're expected to act like Model African Union delegates. That means we're going to wear a tie, a blazer, and generally a suit for guys and for girls, something that looks rather formal. For those of you who want to wear something traditional, African traditional, you may. However, you're supposed to look representable as well. This is a great opportunity to network from people from across the world in a very professional behavior, in a behavior that exemplifies delegates from the African Union. So this is an opportunity in which we need to be smart, in which we need to act smart, in which we need to dress smart. In the press corp, you will be representing various media enterprises, starting from CNN to BBC to Al Jazeera. And as press corp members, you will have to be um, reporting what happened during the committee sessions using blogs, uh, magazine publications, or even video footage. And um, the whole point of the press corp is to train delegates who are interested in international relations media in the way it is actually performed. And I would like to guarantee you that it's going to be fun covering events and headlines. I am actually um, excited to see you all in actions. We sincerely hope that you find this video useful and if you have any questions, please contact us by email info at alamau.org and you should also visit our website and social media pages. We look forward to see you in April 2014.